prison staff caught at the drop location for prison contraband. Now this has to be one of the worst crimes a dirty officer or a dirty prison employee can do. And that is picking up drugs at the drop-off spot located near the prison, carrying them into the prison and giving them to the inmates, endangering their fellow officers and all the other honest, hard-working people working behind the razor wire. Yet, this incident occurs somewhere every year. Just a few months ago in Georgia, an officer was seen by another officer out in the wooded area by the prison. He approached that officer, said, what are you doing? That officer said, I'm just using the restroom. The story seemed very odd to this officer, and this officer was well aware that this location was even known as a drug drop-off spot to the officers who work at this prison. But yet this dummy was found at that spot before shift. Well, the officer left the area who said he was there to only urinate and the other officer went and searched the area and found marijuana and tobacco and rolling paper and lighters and lots of other things which was inside about what would amount to half a basketball if you cut a basketball in half and, the, and these drugs and things were in there. He was going to pick up the drop to take it inside the prison. This is just one example. If you wonder what happened to this officer, uh, he did finally, after interrogation, admit to going there to pick up the drugs and they connected some of his uh, communications, social, social media communication stuff to some of the people involved with these inmates. So, uh, good, he was caught. What a great job by the officer who did a heads-up play and caught the other officer at a known drug drop-off location. Congratulations to that officer. Now, another story that happened not long ago here in Florida is a female correctional officer was at the corrections control room and she was doing searches of prison staff coming into the prison and a female officer came in and she did a thorough search and the other female officer was getting very upset with her because of why we know why she was getting upset because this officer was doing her job and doing a very thorough search and found hidden in her lunch bag, uh, concealed within some food, some marijuana. She stumbled upon it, luckily, doing what she's supposed to do with gloves and going through correctly and not touching her food, but moving things around, and she caught a glimpse of it. And this correctional officer was arrested due to the diligent work of a co-worker, of a fellow officer doing their job. Well, I tell you, if anybody gets upset at either one of these scenarios, that two dirty officers were caught by correctional officers doing their job, taking care of the dirty staff, then you need to find yourself another job because you're in the wrong business if you're upset that correctional officers caught other officers bringing drugs into the prison. You need to rethink your thought process and rethink why you're wearing that badge if you think it's wrong for correctional officers to report dirty officers bringing drugs into the prison. Just a couple of heads up plays to remind everybody, let's stay honest, let's, let's honor that shield, and if you do not want to honor the shield, Please go turn it in and resign 
and go off somewhere else and do another job. We will understand because we don't want you there either if you're going to back up a dirty officer. Heads up plays. Good job by these officers. And everybody stay safe and please subscribe. Gary York, True Prison Stories.